What's your assessment, Neil, as uh, Kyle Negrito serves? Very short assessment so far of what uh, Coach Yuta Zurabara has done as the Coach Masters get a monster block as well. Cool, mm -hmm. Coach uh, Koji. But uh, based on some of the players in training, has been on fire as of late, just as they don't have Cat Tolentino, which... That's of the Cool Smashers. Chess over passes. One of the better receivers. She knows that she will be targeted. She always does. She's asking for one more. Pushing them all the way to 30. Six points, and now the breaks are going way to cream line also, bringing that point from the sidelines. And Lori Bernardo enjoying her time on the court here. It's a seven point lead now for cream line. Valdez will try, goes cross court. It's vintage, Eliza Valdez hit for you, that cross, that... The overlap, the zone of mm. defenders in the backcourt. Magkakaroon talaga ng banggaan. And right now, there seems to be a communication problem on the floor for the Cool Smashers. I want to go back to the timeout of Coach Sherwin in set number one. Sabi niya, if hindi maganda yung first pass natin, kailangan on the second or on the third touch mapaganda natin mm. because it's not all the time na makakuha tayo ng three perfect touches. Now they get another kill block. But they're, now it's business, you know? It's a game and you, you want to win. You're an athlete. They were supposed to be only one point down, but because of that point by Bernadette Fons... Right now, Kyle Negrito with eight excellent sets, two attacks. Uh, and let's see if that will keep increasing as the game goes. Panaga <laughs> and Carlos. It's a great wall <laughs> right there. But yeah, Panaga... Through the years, we know that... Uh, learnings will be coming into play, but you see, it's very neck and neck, Yanni. Exactly. To 11. Orenda in. Unable to go through that block. The court, as we check it out once again. See that replay. Panaga blocking, but Jarrell Singh not ready for that coverage. Oh! And an ace to her name, Dots Carlos. There, just enough power and top spin. They're playing the game the right way. They're reading the tendencies early on. There you have it. Uh, East serve coming from Gemma Galanza, who I did say will make a difference in this match today for the Cream Michael Smashers. Three times she has toyed with the league, Neil, as a three time MVP. That's him. Such an unorthodox serve of hers. There are equal amount of cheers coming from all quarters of the venue as Sabete gets us going in the opening set. Not a first, not a good first pass coming from De Asusa Valdez. For the Bulls Smashers. Eliza Valdez, only five points. So they have eased into this rotation and they are hoping to get a check off their bucket list of a Grand Slam mm -hmm. championship, but they will take it one game at a time. As Tots Carlos goes down the line and she gets her first point. You know, you're still learning from all the teams here. They're just newly formed last conference, so there's always something that you can learn from every single competitor that you have. Thank God, a hand on that. They cannot relax though, Choco Mucho, even with this seven point lead. Tobino. A couple of soft attacks coming from Choco Mucho, resulting in two. Some cool smashers who will be taking a breather for today. Oh, that sails inside for Bernadette Pons. And she will send us to the first technical timeout, 8-6. Serving 17, Cal Negrito now on the service area. Bigar back to Ea, blocked by Carlos and Panaga. Two all here. Omandal will continue to serve. Hans Panaga. And that's good for the Cool Smashers. To vary those attacks. Panaga serving. Inside. And that's an ace for Pans Panaga. It is essential for Creamline to win this match to keep themselves in the hunt. Valdez returned to sender. 
shutdown on uh, her former teammate, Abayag. In the pregame, this is the best we've seen from the Flying Titans, but you did also mention this earlier. This is the first time that the Korean Line Cool Smashers are entering the semis at this standpoint. Yes. Well, as you mentioned, that Green Line really coming off a loss, and that seems to be the type of team that just gets better as the conference goes on, also, Neil. They have a lot of things to polish mm. since we're talking about Green Line. In their last game, it was a 4 set win, but you felt like they were struggling for Negrito. He has to dish those sets out of the wings properly because there was. Shal Gumaba was starter today after coming off the bench in all five sets of that win against the HD Spikers. Let's check in with Lexi Rodriguez. In galleries. And there is that hustle yes. that is very apparent as early as now. Oh, that's going to be a service ace for Galanza. Of the seven titles of Freemine, this has got to be the toughest conference that they've gone through, other than the losses that they've had, obviously. Um, and that is credit to all the teams that have really improved their lineup and given incredible challenge to the defending champions. They were at the brink of elimination against the Petrogas Angels, and uh, that win just propelled them forward when they won that, that nail-biter yeah. game against the Angels. They used to watch these players, and now they're playing against them. So it's from them that uh, you know they're living the dream. But now they're, that they're sharing the same court with Green Line, they're going to have to step up mm. as Galanza sends the ball through. Kaole back sets. Rebleza couldn't score. The counter for MG. Ooh, Down the line, Espinosa keeping it alive. Dolly Versosa straight to the back row. Jesus putting it up. And here's Gemma Galanza. Nice rally. Good rally to start the game. Versosa with the cross. Ella with the dig. Back row for Pons with the tip. And that's it. Green line gets its second point as well like Michelle Gumabao but look at how smart this player is she already knew where to put it from the back well such is life <laughs> <laughs> oh good sir from Thos Carlos wow. inside I mean for a second she also almost had me fooled NCAA so they know what it's like to play against good teams like this it's just a matter of chemistry that's needed exactly Sing there with the coverage or in the in will try with that attack that's Carlos, cross-court. Rivera will set. Australia blocked by a green line. In the front row, let's take a look at that replay. Perfect blocking formation, unison in that Both block. teams. Yeah. Ebon. Oh. Dug up by Valdez. Back with the white shirts. They go back to Laika. Back to the net. Galanza. Again with a score. Gemma Galanza alone with one blocker. Uh, this spike of the center. For a running attack. Mm -hmm. Yung running attack natin, iba iba rin yung variations niya. There's a short, there's a long. Also, the speed varies as well. Dodd's got a hand on it. So did Kyle. My joy, unable to put it away. Dodd's recovers in time. And Creamland still gets the point. Is, looks like she's cramping up. Adamato has been working hard. Yeah, death. Oh, no question about it. 15 11, biggest lead of the set. Overpass. <laughs> oh, saved by Atienza. Remy out asking for it. She doesn't get it. Isa gets it, Ooh. and nobody on the recoil. Then the block. Perfect timing. One point when you're tired, you're, just, you're not going to think anymore. And that's the goal, you know, overall. That's a perfect pass, though, from her. Dive by Bernadette Pons. Left-handed swing by Panaga. Chance ball for Cream Line. Gemma is waiting. Negrito takes it. That's a third touch. Shoot to Galanza, and she puts it away. Nose bleed. Re section, <laughs> yes. Okay. Obviously, they make that referral to the bigger stadiums. Uh, stadiums yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Mm. In deep oh. on the bus. Cheng, one hand. Gemma, Dickinson it. 
It's in! It's in! Mucho to make this lead even bigger. Kyle to Gemma. Bonce oh. was there. Footy by Maddy. One more try here. B, D, L. And this is what we're saying about the advantage of Dreamline mm -hmm. from a bench standpoint. Right. You know, a lot of players where they had talking and can perform instantly. And they will have to step up. This is as uh, as some uh, will say, this is an opportunity, more than a setback. Maybe if you change the way you view it, an opportunity for some of these players to step up to the plate. In the meantime, no changes here at the side of Creamline. 0-0, zero, zero, set four. That's where the problem is now. There's a lot of miscommunication here on this side. Makandili, Kayuna. We'll go back to Troncoso. We'll just swipe it to the other side. Doug. Passes from behind. Thoughts will try again. Weren't we together when she uh, went for her career high? Which originally we said on the air was... Could have gotten that already over on one. But they move on. Yeah. Swipe. Gemma with a pancake. Eliza from behind with the aid of the net. Yes, you know, you mentioned four minutes uh, in their last game against Choco Mucho, and then now, you know, you see glimpses of her, how strong and formidable. Venture gas as there's only two hitters in the front row. Faulty first ball. Dig Basparin. What a slide by Atienza. Counter by Gemma Galanza. And that's in. The crowd on their feet. Look at that solid dig by Atienza. Yeah. And Galanza with a put away in between the blockers and the, the floor defender. That camera angle yeah. really yeah. captured. But not in the semifinals. BDL, of course, an OG member mm -hmm. of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. That could create some spark here as she has uh, the advantage of familiarity. Right. Carlos. Wong saves Ooh. it. It's still good. Another pickup by Chocomucho. What a hustle. Regrito shoots it to Valdez. That time, there is no picking up that ball. But Dan Ponce has been all over the court. Every point <laughs> here. Right. I mean, you, saw, you see Creamline scrambling in offense and defense. It, it's like uh, they're yeah. being challenged at every point because of how good you know, Choco Mucho has been defending. The Gino Wong there, Dan Ponce there. So the one or two. Except for that first set, of course. Ooh, Troncoso did not like that. Tentative on the movement. Same here for Creamline. Cayuna to Gonzaga. Kick slide by Galanza. Pons sends it long. Miscommunication there, so a chance ball for the girls in pink. Tots Carlos puts it away. No! Gonzaga sends it over. What defense by Signal. And it's still ongoing. Dawn sends it to Joe. Joe denied. Cayuna to Molina. Oh! CCS and Signal in an incredible exchange there. Our teams are tight blocking on the side of the Cool Smashers. And they will Is this going to bounce out? It was going happen. to hit that uh, side line. Right. Eh. And uh, medyo naging serioso uh -oh. yung cream line. Roberto Lama from back row and twice in a row there. Pass Panaga. And that's tough to go and to be able to block um, an attack from the pipe. The start, diba? Yes. And remember when she made the shift to uh -huh. Choco Mucho? Yep, yep, yep. And since Jana was talking about training, Ngayon eh, mas malapit na sa kanya. Mas madali na sa kanya mag-train. As compared to when she was uh, with PLDT because of the venues of the training. PDL! 
Her first point against her former team. Starting lineup for uh, Freemline 2 Smashers. You see, yo, hindi lang sa skills, pati yung parang uh, confidence. They were choco mucho. Again, very serious about this third set. They need to get past this set to keep on playing. Alba pushing it out to Royce Tobino. Alanganin, pero nakuha pa rin ni Gemma. And we have a rally. Royce Tobino is stopped again. So three ball. Three line will set up. Negrito looking for Gumabao. How about this rally, Jamie? And a quick one, Alba. Still Gemma Galanza with a stop. And Valdez this time stopped the Bay of the Leon, ending that rally. And the crowd is going wild here. And what a rally, Chicky. Yeah. Drop ball from Valdez, but Bay of the Leon able to press. A lot of great teams, including that uh, match, that five setter against Chocomucho, really struggling in the last two. It started with that three-set defeat against Cherry, yep. Tigo, where they really looked like they were scrambling, and then the loss to Signal, which really hurt them and helped everybody else get yeah. into the semifinals. Okay. I mean, it, that's just a testament to how intense this conference has been and uh, para unpredictable. Para yeah. yung first rally natin, partner. Yes, exactly. <laughs> she targets. Earlier it was Isa. It continues to be Isa. Brooke. Denied! What a read by Max Managa with her ninth point. Managa denying entry from the back row. Bernadette Pons said Domingo. Lisa Sato is also back in the rotation for the Pool Smashers. This light attack of Akari, I mean, I, I guess, kailangan medyo mas mabilis because when you give a loop of a set, on an 11 to 1 run, and they have not committed an error so far in the opening set. Oh. Now, bounce Panaga. Panaga had three blocks in the game against the HD Spikers. First point for Panaga is another story. And you can say that about Tots also when she's in the front line. Ah, oh, Kyle Negrito with some trickery on the second ball put away. Before thought Scarlet happened for the Cool Smashers. Actually, they were up 14-11. 14-11. Look time on to Cold Shack, 14 to 12. Here we go. Match point belongs this time to Cream Line. Scramble. Back to Sess. And Cream Line does it. Pulling off a reverse sweep. Baraga just had enough hang time. Kate Santiago also coming in for the first time here at the serve. Let's see what Cream Line does. But Carlos! Spin on tiny thoughts. What a hit. Carlos not bothered with a double block set up by the Foxy still.